Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, y'all know what to do, man. You need to go down there, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know, that's super important to me because it helps me grow. It helps me spread the word of the healthcare fields to other people, just as yourselves that are looking for the same information. So you gotta please subscribe, hit the notification bell. But the most important thing as you have to do is you have to do this. Yes, you have to like the video. Liking the video helps my channel grow. Uh, well, possibly it'll grow, you know, and, um, you know, we're growing little by little and, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, inquire about, you know, radiology field that, you know, it's fun. I love to, I love to help people, you know, and, and if you haven't got that um, assumption yet, then, um, you know, I don't know what to say, but yes, I love to help people. A lot of people come to me and be like, hey, Juan, you know, how about this? Or, hey, you know, you, you know, I'm thinking about this. And a lot of times I tell you, look, guys, follow me on Instagram which is um, jreax863. It's jreax because it's my other channel, but jreax863, DM me your questions. And uh, if anybody's watching this, y'all can leave proof in comments that I do help you guys. And uh, they're like, hey, you know, I don't understand. So I give you the inside scoop on what you're getting yourself into or whatever. And, you know, 9% of the time, they don't, they think that, you know, radiology is just, oh, you just press a button or you're gonna work a nine to five, or you know, it's just like, it's so much more behind the scenes that we deal with that is, that you can't really explain all in one video. You know, it's just so much that we deal with on a daily basis, so much that, you know, you think about when you get, that you don't think about, you know, before entering a field, you're like, oh, I thought, you know, it was this, this, and that, and yet, it's way more than that. But anyway, guys, um, like I said, man, I'm always here to help you guys. Anyway, so today's video is about can you work while being pregnant or can you go to school um and if you get pregnant about clinicals and all that is it safe for your baby so you know we learn about you know how dangerous radiation can be to the fetus and um you know it's dangerous all oh, radiation causes cancer all oh, radiation can you know make my baby you know come out with you know congenital disorders or whatever and it's, can I explain it? So no and yes, right? And the reason I say that is because, <clears throat> excuse me, is that as long as you do what's needed from you as a tech uh, and you follow the rules of radiation protection, you, will, you and your baby will be 99.9% .9 fine, okay? Um, and that's why, that's why when you go to hospitals, there's rules and regulations, you know, uh, to protect yourself. For instance, you know, we have gowns, we have lead, lead aprons, excuse me, lead aprons that we put on. We have thyroid shields, you know, um, the distance away from the radiation, you know, the, all those are big, big factors that, you know, we have to be accountable for at the end of the day, you know, because, you know, it comes to, um, it comes to integrity. You know, and integrity for yourself. Like, you know, if, if a tech or a lead tech or your manager always had to tell you, hey, you know, please wear, wear, wear lead when you're in floral because floral has a lot of radiation and you're in the room stuck and you don't wear it, then that's just the end of the day is like, you're not doing yourself any favors. You know, you have to, you have to do everything right and you will be fine. You know what I mean? But um, yes, you definitely can work while pregnant if you go to school and you happen to get pregnant, which is honestly happens quite a few times. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It, it you will be fine. Your baby will be fine. Um, it's uh, the the rule of thumb is that a pregnant female cannot get more than zero point five rem for the whole gestation period. Um, and rem is just Rankin's equivalent to man. So basically, it produces X rays. Uh, you can't have more than 0 0.5, which that's only 10% of what is um, allowed per, you know, a radiology tech, you know, like me being a man, that's only, that's only 10% um, of what we can get, you know, so they're cutting 90% of, you know, radiation that is allowed to, to a regular person, um, which cuts the, which cuts it down significantly, you know, so, um, and by the way they do that is, you know, you have a few options, you know, you have a few options how you want to do it. Do y'all get, do females get special treatment because you get pregnant? Honestly, no, you don't, you know, because like I said, 
the hospital or whoever you work for should have all the protective equipment needed for you to stay safe. Like I said, you'll have a gown on, you have a thyroid shield, you step away. Now the things that they can do, um, they're super nice and they should be and most of, I'm gonna say a lot, all the hospitals will comply, I believe. Um, it's to send you to an area that has less radiation. So basically if, you're, if your usual job duty is to be in a department, uh, doing florals, doing biopsies, things of that nature, um, then you get a lot more um, radiation than a tech that just basically in the ER doing portables all day or on the floor doing portables. Um, so, you know, you should go be like, look, I want to transfer to, not transfer, but I want to be assigned to the ER today. You know, 99% of the ER is always uh, chest one views, 90% of the time, um, because it's just kind of protocol. You go to the ER, you're going to get a chest one view. It just automatically comes. Um, and then again, you know, you put the cassette behind the patient's back, you step away, step away from the radiation, wear your gown when you're pregnant. Um, you have to have um, two disometers that have one on your neck and one on your tummy. That way it, you know, um, accumulates the radiation you're getting and, uh, you know, it keeps you in control and it, and it lets you know. So if it comes back kind of like high and you're alert, you know, it tells you, hey, you can't be around radiation because whatever. But anyway, that protects you, you know, so there's options you can do. Um, there's another option, I guess, uh, to go where there is no radiation. And honestly, in the, in the radiology field, there's no area that there's no radiation. Even if you're certified in CT, you still have to be behind. And CT is like 10 times more radiation than regular x-ray. So you're behind a lot, you're behind the lead uh, mirror, uh, window and all that, but you're still in the process of there's high radiation. Um, so even then, so I honestly don't think that there's no place in radiology that there's no radiation going on, you know? So just keep that in mind if you're a female and you're, um, you know, get pregnant or whatever. Um, and honestly, that's that's about it, man. That's about it. It's nothing too crazy. You can't, you don't have to get, you know, you females have to get all, you know, hysterical. Nah, I'm just kidding. I understand, you know, you have a baby, you have a beautiful thing growing in you and you want to protect it at all costs, at all means necessary. And, um, we understand that we understand that as techs and and your fellow techs will also take care of you you know if they know that you're doing more than than your than your job you know we as men as technologists you know we step in and like, hey don't do that um and you know sometimes you know you, you get a big tummy man you can't bend over anymore you know you get to a certain point you're like ah what can i do you know um but you know everybody usually everybody in the radiology department it becomes family becomes work family and you take care of each other, you know, at the end of the day. But, um, yo, guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Hope this helps somebody. Hope this helps somebody out there that is interested. It's a female that's scared of you're going to get pregnant. And it's okay. You, you guys will be fine. You can still finish school. You can still go through all the clinicals. That shouldn't stop you. Um, that That's being pregnant while in school and you're in a program shouldn't stop, you know, um, you from, you know, completing your education on time you know because hospitals will still allow you to go there as long as you get up and go to work um and you're fine and you're not you know you know uh, vomiting everywhere or whatever you'll be fine all right guys so thank you for watching